In the midst of the pandemic, we were outside a lot, in fact, soaking up that vitamin D that Fuhrer Fauci didn't want anyone to know about. But what also happened while we were outside more often was that we began to look up. That's right. We began to look up. Contrary to the satanic Netflix movie entitled Don't Look Up, we decided to look up. And what we began to notice were clear, beautiful, sunny days quickly becoming overcast as the contrails from planes flying in grid patterns above didn't just evaporate the way we were told. No. And if you had the time, which we did under the lockdown, we had plenty of time to watch the sky and wait, those contrails hang in the sky and do not go away. In fact, they begin to cover the sky and form clouds that I do not remember from my childhood at all. You know, seriously, I, I, I do not remember any of these clouds when, you know, you're studying the science class in the fifth grade. So we quickly realized that these were chemtrails. You know, the chemtrails that you're told is just another conspiracy theory, like these on your screen. You're, we're told that this is just another conspiracy theory from whack jobs who just want to be free. So what are these chemtrails exactly? What exactly are they? Is it geoengineering? Is it poisoning the populations via the elite's obsession with keeping the world population around 500 million? Is it part of weaponizing the weather against red states who pass laws the Tower of Babel overlords do not like? Who knows? All I know is, is that they're real. And anyone who says otherwise is either naive and hasn't looked up and is too busy waiting in line, I don't know, to get their Starbucks every morning, or they are fools for not believing their own eyes. But it's no longer a conspiracy theory, I'll tell you that much. At least not as far as the Tennessee legislature is concerned. The Tennessee Senate just two days ago passed a bill that would ban chemtrails in their state, a proposition that will surely enrage whoever is actually flying these jets over middle America and ruining our clear, beautiful days, making them overcast. Matter of fact, Revolver.News has the story. Let's, uh, let's go over there right now. Here is the screen. Uh, there you see it. Tennessee Senate passes bill to end chemtrails. But as usual, there, there's more beneath the surface. Let's dive in and see what the legislative... Uh, legislation actually means. They cite conservative activists in Tennessee, in Tennessee by the name of Robbie Starbuck, who says that the Tennessee State Senate passed a bill a couple of days ago at this point that would ban the spraying of chemicals for geoengineering in our skies. Here's some key language. The bill would ban the intentional injection, release, or dispersion by any mean of chemicals, chemical compounds, substances, or apparatus within the borders of this state into the atmosphere with the express purpose of affecting temperature, weather, or the intensity of the sunlight. This is fantastic for Tennessee, he writes. 24 senators voted in favor, six opposed. The rest of the bill is below. Now we wait for the House to vote on it, but I urge every House rep in Tennessee to support this bill. Our federal government has a dark history of spraying and poisoning citizens with toxins that they never consented to coming into contact with. Just look at what they did in St. Louis during the Cold War. The suffering, uh, the suffering it caused was horrific. We can't risk the federal government spraying anything on our citizens. Uh, let's get this done. I always love, when I, when I read pieces of legislation, I always love the statement of fact. Uh, whereas such and such and such and such, whereas, because it really, this is where you get, um, you really get the crux of what they're, what they're admitting, what they're confessing, what the Tennessee legislature believes to be fact, believes to be truth. So um, it says, whereas it is documented that the federal government or other entities acting on the federal government's behalf or at the federal government's request may conduct geoengineering experiments by intentionally dispersing chemicals into the atmosphere, and those activities may occur within the state of Tennessee. Now, the operative word here is may. They're, they're not even saying that this is, in fact, happening. They're saying that it might happen, that it might be happening, which is fine. It is happening. We all know it's happening. The Tennessee legislature, many of them know it's happening, but they're trying to do this so that, you know, people that aren't so sure can kind of go along with it. So they don't say, they don't say whereas with the federal government is doing this, 
Because that would actually be the Tennessee legislature confessing that the federal government is literally, they're literally terrorists that are flying planes and spraying chemicals in the air that are harmful or controlling the weather or, you know, dampening the sunlight. I mean, the World Economic Forum has a plan. The Satanists at the World Economic Forum, they have a plan. They talk about it where they want to blot out the sun. Who knows? Maybe they already have. The, uh, the Tennessee Department of Environmental and Conservation is responsible for monitoring air, soil, and water quality and regulating industrial and agricultural emissions and to air, soil, and water within the state of Tennessee to ensure the safety of the public while not impeding agricultural or commerce within the state. And whereas it is the intent of this General Assembly to protect the public health and welfare of Tennesseans while allowing all authorized activities permitted under state law now therefore being enacted by the General Assembly uh, they have uh, uh, this law. The intentional injection, release, or dispersion by any means of chemicals, chemical components, substances, or apparatuses within the borders of this state into the atmosphere with the express purpose of affecting temperature, weather, or the intensity of the sunlight is prohibited.